Hello and welcome to Man of the Ants Plays Kronos. So this is one of those very early VR games that I never caught, quite got around to playing. I think I picked it up in one of the bundles. Was there like a gamepad bundle at some point? I think there might have been. I think I got it in that, so that's a while ago now. Never quite got around to actually playing. I did start it briefly at one point uh, as a recorded series. But I had an issue with the recording and then the touch arrived and I started playing a lot of touch games and I just kind of forgot about it really. So, starting a new game, we didn't get very far at all in it, so we will play it a male character. Do we want to stand our ground and block or strike quick and dodge? Let's do strike quick and dodge. And we'll go for the medium difficulty, adventure difficulty. So, as I say, it was some time ago I did actually start this. Oh yes, a little intro to get us to get us going. Come, sit. I am. Listen all. Listen well. Tonight I speak to you the tale. Mm -hmm. Tale of the scouring. You go right ahead. Long past, world was different. Towers of metal and stone scraped the sky. So I can see behind you. People roamed free. Never hid. No. Never feared. Why would they? Thousands of us. Tens of thousands. More than that. Not like our tiny tribes. Then came the beasts. Uh huh. From inside one of the rusted places. Hunted us, drove us into the cracks and crevices. Came the beasts on orders, directed by the will of one. Who? Who was it? The dragon. Ooh. Was him scoured our world? Scours it still. Did a good job. Where he hides. You're our bravest, young one. Yes. Smartest. Yes. Best. Yes. Once a year, in the darkest of the rusted places, uh -huh. the great stone wakes, opens the way to the other world. When it does, you will go through. Yes. You will find the dragon. Yes. You yeah? We'll kill it. What? He's a dragon. Get thrown back out for the deed is done. You might. But you will use that ear. Grow stronger. Wiser. Till the stone wakes again. And you keep going back. Huh. To your last breath. You Committed, I guess. Going back. Till the dragon dies. Till the dragon dies. Alright then. You do. So it seems to start me at quite an odd angle. All the menus were fine, straight in front of me, which is the way I'm looking now. But now I think that a little bit to the side is the actual uh, actual front. So I'm sure there is a Button to change that. We'll play around with that in a second. So, what have we got? Oh, it's lent on the cable. Let me just get a bit of slack on that. We've got rain. Rain and water. Anything down this way? No. Get my feet wet, though. Why not? Ah, so what was that? So, X is the sword swing. B e is a dodge. Triangle is a shield parry type thing. Ah, right trigger is block. Caves are full of bats. Doesn't seem to be a run necessarily. Oh, yep. What was, oh yeah, and that was dodge. Immediately forgot all the controls. All right then. Oh, here we go. 
Press B to evade an attack and hold B to sprint. There we go, there is a sprint. Holding down B is sprint. So we just sprint through here. Of course, the... Uh, kind of quirky aspect of the game is the fact that you do age. You start off as, what, 18, I think? Very tall. Start off as 18. And each time you die in the rusted place, you age a year. When you're younger, you're better at fighting. And when you, as you get older, you're better at magic-based attacks, which are apparently around. So let's have a look for those when they start popping up. Is there a... Yes, okay. Select is the reset view option, which is lovely. Very dank and dreary. Good start. Sprint through here. It's very beautiful. Oh, that water looks lovely. That water on those rocks looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That looks amazing. And there's... Oops. There are one of the devastated cities behind us. Alright. Obviously, uh... A little bit all over the shop with the movement at the moment. So I did get as far as into the rusted place, which I'm sure has a better name. In my previous playthrough, or sorry, playthrough, in my previous 20 minutes or so with the game. And I basically got to a point where I saw a little monster, I freaked out a bit, I dodge rolled off a cliff and died. And I'll show you where that was, if I can remember. So that's the stone. Obviously not activated yet. Come around here. Axum Series 980 CPU X8235 MHz. Test and internal systems. System test failed. Error code 88. Current user sent to admin. No unauthorized access. Access denied. Emergency lockdown in effect. Okay, so... That is our first mission. We need to get the emergency lockdown removed from building 03. It's obviously some military installation, I'm guessing. Maybe when this uh, rusted world started appearing with this stone, they built this around it as a sort of way of trying to control it. Or alternatively, the military opened up this portal to another world and doomed us all. Which happens a bit too frequently, really, doesn't it? So we have some dead people around. Our first dead people, lovely. Uh, a small key, which we will take. Can't see anything else around. Let's just pop in here. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, to the computer. While inspecting an object, press the menu button. Uh, the start button? Yeah, the start button. Yes. To bring up the use item radial, select an item and press A to use that item. Okay. System is locked. So whilst using an item, I'll use the key, please. Excellent. Axiom Series 980 CPU X82305 MHz. Test and internal systems. System test failed. Error code 88. Current user sent to admin and no unauthorized access. Loading boot menu. Okay. Mainframe access. Mainframe offline. Error 88. Good stuff. Reports. January the 3rd, 1968. The latest group of candidates seem to be acclimatizing better than the last. Dr. Harsgaard has recommended we keep them in the chairs longer than the all allotted six hours. He wants to study the long-term effects of exposure on the cerebral cortex. So far, we've gotten very little usable intel from the Dreamers. I'm still convinced that what they are seeing is no more than some elaborate hallucination, despite Harsgaard's claims. Corrupted? In fact, how far back did we go then? Let's just skip that. January the 3rd to April the 7th. So about three months. Four months. Three months. Yeah, okay. Construction of the new device is proceeding as planned. Ford and his team are able to solve a few of the remaining issues using intel from one of the Dreamers. I'm prepping a team to use the device, we have fondly been calling it the Dattler, Dimensional Aperture Translocation Apparatus. Catchy. 
We'll report our findings as soon as the team returns. Another corrupted file, then we skip forward to June, so another couple of months. As of today, Ward 17 is in active operation. A new candidate has been selected and placed in the chair. Harsgard already seems pleased with the readings. He says they are much stronger than anything we have seen thus far. All the other dreamers are on full 24-hour rotations, meaning at this point, they never leave the chairs. It was the only way to resolve some of the health issues they were experiencing. Harsgard continues to monitor them. Captain Ford and his team still haven't returned from their trip through the Datla. I'm ordering a halt to all further expeditions until we know what went wrong. And then one more, a couple of weeks later. Automated report, emergency lockdown initiated. 1968, okay. Base control, disable emergency lockdown. Disable emergency lockdown. Lockdown disabled. Excellent. Initiate, exec initiate executive order 13. Initiating Executive Order 13. Error. Unable to initiate order. Error code 88. Still can't get to the mainframe. Okay. So, oh, come on. There we go. What is through here? Nice rusted pipe. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we don't fight anything in this... In this particular reality. We do get a little peek. Where are you? You stuck behind some chairs. A little peek at one of the creatures in there. Guessing the military locked him in? He's now disappeared. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. Oh, there we go. There he is. There he is. Looks quite tough. Double axes and all. If we go up here. Oop, up here. And then in here. So he is in here, I guess. But we cannot get in there. And that's a card reader that we don't have. Yeah, it's waiting for us to use an item that we don't have there. And what do we have? Oh! That's the stone. That's the giant floating stone. That the military foolishly thought they could control, and of course you can't. What do we have over here? That's missing a whole piece. A whole thing. And I'm guessing we can't open that then. No. Okay. So nothing we can do there at the moment. So let's pop back. I'm guessing all that will become accessible when we're a little older. So we'll pop back this way. Go right the way through the base. Back in the lift. And then back to the little stone outside, which I'm sure is where you actually traverse into the other realm. It was just out here. There it is, yes. So we should now be able to use this computer. Who locked this computer? If someone does this every year. Who, who, who initiated the emergency lockdown? Who did that? So Axum Series 980 CPU X8230 5 MHz. Testing internal systems. System test failed. Error code 88. Current user sent to admin. No unauthorized access. Load and boot menu. Run system diagnostic. Test and uplink. Failed. Using local, buff local pattern buffer. Test in power. Succeeded. Test in data. Warning. Code 16. Don't know what that means. Uplink failed, using local pattern buffer, system reset to user mode. Okay. And there is a Dattler. A way in to the rusted realm. Let's touch it. Hello. And there you can see the gateway. 
Yeah, go go through. Go on, there we go. So then, here we go into the rusted realm to fight things, I guess. And there we go. I wonder if I can just press it and go back. I'm not going to do that because it seems like that'll be a waste of time. So some very odd creatures to start with. You can't dodge whilst you're uh, blocking. And the dodge seems a little bit finicky, to be honest. So maybe I should have gone with the axe. But no matter. We shall keep with the sword for now. So we have these very odd statues. Very odd. Is that just a long emo hairdo? Is that what that is? Just super emo? I do am super emo. Uh, you wouldn't believe how emo I am, dude. Just like super emo. I'm so sad. I'm just going to kneel here for a few hundred years. Just then my hair grow in front of my face so I can't see anything because it makes me so sad because I'm so super emo, dude. Uh. Uh. Ah. A little enemy. See him? Wandering around there like a little whatever he is. Press X to do a standard attack. Hold X to do a heavy attack. Heavy attack. Singular. Heavy attacks are slower, but do more damage. Sure they do. Let's go and... Uh, slice this guy up. Oh, I was blocking, but I was facing the wrong way, of course. Okay, terrible star. Terrible, terrible star. Yeah, there's no way of rotating when you're blocking. What's down here? Can't open any of these things. So what is this? It's a health potion, isn't it, I think? Yeah, to consume the heart and restore your health. So right button or right bumper to restore health. Let's pop up here. A couple more guys. Oh, we're just up above where we were, I see. I see where we are. Well, he's seen me. You can block incoming attacks by pressing and holding right trigger. Blocking multiple hits in a row can break your block, causing your character to become temporarily vulnerable. Press Y to attempt a shield parry, and a successful shield parry will repulse the enemy attack, stunning them momentarily. Oh, I was going to try a shield parry, but, uh... Not sure that actually worked. So, there's a door here. Where does this go? Nowhere particular. Anything over here? No. Oh, where are you? There you are. Scroll for us to read. The king has decreed the temple off limits. Stop all work immediately. No exceptions. Sarl. Thanks for the update, Sarl. There's another guy over here. There he is. With a gun. Okay, that's that guy taken care of. Where are we? There we go. So can't open these chests that are dotted around? You'd have thought you would be able to. Can I just... No. Anything there? No. Anything down here? Can I go down there? No. Okay. So in here. Hold left trigger while near an enemy to lock onto that enemy. Right. Use the right stick to toggle between targets while locked on. Right. Okay. Okay, right, now that makes a bit more sense. Thought this would lead back to the room where I sort of started, but obviously... See if I can parry. Oh, 
Well, I'm not sure if I parried or not, but I got through that fight without taking any damage, so I guess that's a plus. Very weird little camera angle, but okay. Nothing down there. Nothing there. A very fiery passageway. That I don't think we'll concern ourselves with. I've leveled up. That's what that was. A character, or your character, a character, maybe yours. Who knows? Has gained a level. Each time you level up, you gain more attribute points, which can be used to upgrade your character. Press the start menu, start button to enter the character menu and spend your attribute points. So what do we have? So it doesn't actually pause the game, so it's important to remember. We have our inventory with our dragon heart shield and iron sword. We have some traits that unlock at various ages, going up to 80. We have the options. If I change that up to epic. Let's see if we notice any uh, any judder or anything. So then. Spend attribute points. How many do we have? We have two. Strength. No amount of speed or dexterity will help you if you cannot properly lift and swing your weapon. As you build your strength, the damage done by armaments, which rely on the sheer power of your muscles, will steadily grow. The so strength does damage, block, and defense, which we have nothing at the moment. The use of many weapons relies on speed, finesse, and dexterity as opposed to simple brute force. The greater your agility becomes, the more damage you can do with such weapons as your ferocity increases alongside your swiftness. So damage, evade, defense. So I suppose agility is what I'm after, as soon as I have the sword. And then arcane, bit by bit, your exposure to the power of the dragon opens your eyes to the secret clockwork of the universe around you. As this knowledge ac accumulates, you are able to perceive the world in a different light and wring greater and more powerful effects from the dragon stones. And then vitality, the hardy nature of your own flesh and blood plays a critical role in your journey through the wild stone's doorway. Sustaining too much trauma will send you crashing back to earth, giving you no choice but to use the intervening year to heal. But does it tell us here? So you can upgrade your weapons with shards of flint. I was hoping it would tell us uh, dependable and you about my skill. Uh, this is an agility based weapon. Right. That's what I was looking for. So let's put one in agility and one in vitality and confirm that. And then we shall move on upwards. Oh, hello. Okay, then. Let's. Oops. Let's pop up here. Oh, this is the beginning. This is the beginning, isn't it? Yes. So I went along there and I went through that passageway there previous. So if I t did come out this ladder, I wouldn't have been able to go through that door as it was barred from the other side. That's exactly where I started from. So we should just pop down here, down this ramp. Let's see this little guy and see what he's got waiting for us. Ah, when you're locked on, you can do a little bit of a evade thing. I did try and do a parry there, but it's a bit, well, very delayed in fact. What do we have down here? Just another scroll. What does this one say? Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss than the king himself. Woe to us when grief turns to rage. Woe indeed. Woe indeed. So let's make our way up this ladder. I wonder how the game saves work. Like if I quit the game now, would it... Would I just lose a year? Or does it save your progress through the world as you go? Nothing there. 
And up the ladder we go. Up the ladder we go. Yeah, I see your sneaky little eyes, mate. I see them. Come on, then. Anything in here? Nope. Well, I can pretty much just become a disembodied head. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Just a disembodied head. Look at me go. All right, then. And this here, I remember, turns off the fire down at the bottom. So let's run back down there. Yeah, there you can see the fire is now off. Oh, which was this way. And then through here. Oh, ah, this. Nicely done. Yeah, low on health, your character will limp and you will hear the occasional heartbeat. Press the right button to use a dragon heart which will restore your character's health. Because I'm an idiot. This is where I managed to just roll off the edge previously in my first playthrough and kill myself. Which was the end of that. Oh, he dropped something then. What's he dropped? Ah, much as the dragon stone seemed drawn to your body, this shimmering splinter of stone seems drawn to your weapons. Select a weapon from your inventory and press X to upgrade that weapon. Do you know we can't do yet, but we shall hold on to that. So my health is very low, very, very low indeed, so I will have to heal up, I suspect. But I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to continue on from this point for the next video. So I'm not going to try exit in the game and see what happens. I'm going to carry on from now. Pretty much everything after this point is new to me as well. So that's exciting, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do click the like button. Please do. It'd be very much appreciated, of course. If you want to continue to keep up to date with this series, obviously do subscribe to see any new videos that I put up, including the remaining, or the remaining, the rest of the Kronos series. Any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comments or get hold of me on, on Twitter or Instagram or something like that. I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time. Oh, hello. I shall see you next time in Cronus. Thank you very much for joining me.